welcome to my channel it's Marsha and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely burlap lace and twine flower isn't that just gorgeous okay so let's get into what you'll need to make this flower today you will need some burlap and I've cut this in two and a half inch circles just measure that yep yeah. two and a half inch circles and you'll need nine of these you will need a felt circle and that's about two and a half inches as well to place at the back you need some twine you'll need some lace and you can use any lace you like and I've cut this strip at about 24 inches long so that's 24 inches long you'll need a gem and you can use any gem you like to place in the center and today I'll be using oops this one and you will need needle and thread and a glue gun and some glue sticks you also need a pair of scissors which I have all the way over here okay so I'm going to start with making the twine center Okay, and you probably will need another felt circle because I need one for the twine, which is fine. So we'll start with our twine and we're going to fold it on itself and just go round and around and I have done a few videos showing you how to do this if I'm going too fast you can always pause and rewind but all you're doing is going around and around to make that center. When you feel it's about to unravel in your hand, just grab, I think I'm going to just use a piece of fabric and I'm just going to glue glue this down to the fabric and then continue. Doesn't matter what fabric you use because we're going to cut it away. And then you just continue by adding your glue to the fabric. And you're going to keep going around and around. Until you get the desired size you are happy with and let me see I think 
that should do it. Just gonna, I'm just going to secure that piece there. And right here. And we can call it good. So we're going to use our scissors and just cut away. And we're going to cut very close to the edge, just at the fabric, so that the fabric doesn't show. And there you have your twine center. And put that aside. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to sew together our petals. Okay, so you're going to grab your burlap circles and your needle and thread. And going to show you how we fold and sew this together. So we're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again. And then we're going to use our needle and thread and do a running stitch right across. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the thread like that. I'm just going to keep adding until we've done all nine pieces, okay? Fold in half, fold in half again, and a running stitch and at the end we're just going to pull them all together and should give you that look right there. All right, so we've done two. We're going to just continue until we've done all nine.
I'm going to do some adjustments here. Keep in mind you will have a few uh, fraying pieces lying about because <laughs> the burlap does fray. And then I'm going to sew those pieces together. Just see if this circle will fit. This is not the easiest part of this flower, but we'll see. So we just close the circle by sewing those two ends together and we'll see what happens with this piece right here. Just do a knot and I'll do a, probably another one right here. Cut that there. I'm going to try and bring this a little bit closer. I'm just going to grab another piece of fabric. Any fabric will do. I just want to bring this circle a little bit closer together. Just going to cut that piece away because I really don't need it. I just needed it to bring that circle a little bit closer together. I think if I had done the petals a little bit tighter by pulling them as I was um, sewing them together, it would have been a little bit closer, but it's fine. We see how this one turns out. <laughs> get rid of all our pieces here and we're going to see if we can add our center and cover up all those frays All right, just gonna add some glue in the middle. And going to add just there. Okay, I think that is the best we're going to get it. Um, it's not perfect, but
I think it will do just fine. Okay, so we're going to move on to our lace. And we're just going to do a running stitch all along the edge and pull it together. So we've sewed our um, lace together. We'll just pull that thread right there and secure the end just like this. And then we're going to join the circle. Hope you guys can see this. Just join in the two ends to close the circle. And I am struggling with my needle and thread here, but that's okay. We'll get there in the end. There we have it. And I'll do a knot right here. If you heard talking in the background, I was watching Dr. Phil. <laughs> All right. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to put our pieces together and going to add some glue don't worry about that we won't see that <laughs> we're going to add let me add some glue at the back here actually Pop that there. And 
and uh, wait till that dries. And then I'm going to add our felt circle at the back. And the last thing we're going to do is to add our gem. And we're almost there. There you have it, guys, our twine burlap and lace flower and I think that came out just beautiful. You can use this on anything you like, uh, centerpieces, home decor, scrapbooking, uh, anything you like really. Uh, the choice is yours. I just want to thank you guys for watching today. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you have not subscribed to my channel just yet, why not hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. And I would also like to just thank you for all the comments and suggestions. If you do have any comments, suggestions or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you once again, guys. You guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.